Cancer, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your new weekly tarot reading starting this new week of October the 16th until October the 23rd. Without further ado, let's jump right into your reading. Remember, this is a general reading, so take the reading however it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you, okay? And again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You can also check out your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements. If those are dominant in your chart, then those will resonate with you as well. And I do want to take a brief moment here to just thank all of those of you guys who joined my Instagram live over the past few days. I know it was a little bit rowdy. I was in a different location, but it was so much fun to do a little bit of a back and forth here, you know, question, answers. I was pretty amazed and pretty impressed, which made me really happy, of course, to get so much engagement. I'm actually going to probably turn it into a podcast of some sort because it was so enjoyable. So you can follow me on Instagram, okay? I'm going to be going live more often. You can see the link down here at Gina Moon Official. All right, and you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here naughty thoughts. Oh my, okay, what is going on here? Okay, so it says here naughty thoughts, and there is a lot of sensual energy coming through this uh, particular image, which I will show you in just a little bit. It has a number 20 on it, so something very significant will be happening on the 20th of this month. Also, if you see the number 222 or 202 on the clock or 2020, uh, anywhere, okay, doesn't have to be just on a clock. Uh, the number two has a significant meaning here. Something happening between you and a soulmate, something happening between you and another person. Of course, a soulmate can be anybody. It could be a family member, friend, lover, loved one, child, parent figure, whatever, whoever this is, okay? Uh, it's something here that you're meant to do with another person. And as you can see in this on this image, it says naughty thoughts, and there's uh, a girl there licking a phone. Okay there, okay? So naughty thoughts, somebody here might be having naughty thoughts, whether somebody towards you, you towards somebody, there could be some kind of flirtatious energy. And it says here, sexually fantasizing about you. Okay, strong need to be physically near undeniable sexual desires driven by instinct. So uh, this is all about, you know, uh, sexual energy, sensual energy. Somebody here might be already wanting to take things to that level with you, or there might be some kind of, um, you know, um, person here who might see you in this way. They might have naughty thoughts about you. Of course, it could be you towards somebody else as well, but somebody here has an undeniable sexual desire, okay, that is driven by their instincts. Now, also, so here uh, it has a secondary message. It says here, I cannot help but want you physically, sexually, and mentally. You are all I think about when I am alone and lost in my thoughts. The thought of you drives me insane. So there is attraction here for sure. There is a desire here. However, what I did notice is that it says here, I want to be close to you physically, sexually, mentally, but it does not say emotionally. Okay, so there is either a lot of attraction. It could be the beginning stages of something. Maybe you have a crush on somebody, somebody on you. Soon to happen. Could be, you know, that this is already going to develop for you during this week. Whatever this is for you, let me know in the comments below. Okay, let's see what that's all pertaining to. Now, we're going to be going into your past, present, future position. But you know what? Before we go into that, I do have a little fortune cookie for you guys. I saved it from my dinner uh, last night. And I said, you know what? I'm going to save this for um, uh, for you guys. Okay, so let's, let's take a look what your fortune has uh, here for you. Okay, so let's give this good energy to see what message the universe has for you inside this little fortune cookie okay give it good energy okay ready let's see let's crack it open all right so it says here your wisdom shall always keep you from danger oh you know it's so interesting because it kind of goes hand in hand with this particular, um, there's nothing wrong with having sexual desires, not at all. It's part of human nature, duh. I mean, that's how we are created, right? But what I'm sensing here is that somebody here might be very attracted to you. You know it, you feel it, right? You're attracted to them as well. But this is kind of telling you, hey, you know what? Your wisdom 
shall always keep you from danger. This could be a dangerous type of situation, okay? This could be something where you might be treading into an area where it might be a little bit, um, you know, unhealthy for you. There could be something behind the scenes that maybe you're not picking up on, whatever that is. But it does say here, your wisdom shall always keep you from danger, Okay, so just be aware of that. We're going to keep that in mind. Use your wisdom to make decisions during this week. Okay, don't use your emotions is what this is saying. And um, also uh, use your intuition. Okay, so that's the message there for you. Now let's go ahead and jump into your past, present, future position. Who and what is coming towards you? What is in your opportunity? And also what is in your challenge position and how to over overcome that challenge? Now remember, let me know in the comments below how this reading all resonates for you. You guys, even if it's just commenting down an emoji, that really helps support me and my channel because the YouTube algorithm has been changing significantly. They started hiding my videos once again. I had noticed that and I've been getting messages of people telling me that they have been and unsubscribe from my channel. If you're not getting my notifications, unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the notification bell and hit all. Okay. Uh, hopefully that will fix it for you guys who have mentioned that issue. Now, um, also of course, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for your love and ongoing support. So I see a few signs coming through the reading. You could possibly be dealing with the sign of mm, Leo. I see the sign of Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn. I said Aquarius, right? Okay. Well, those are some of the signs coming to the reading. Of course, it could be any other sign of the Zodiac. Does not necessarily have to be those specifically. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. With the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so there are emotions here, but they're still undisclosed, right? Somebody here has feelings for that person, whether you towards them, them towards you, but they're still kind of keeping those emotions a little bit hidden. Whether, again, uh, this is happening in any area of your life, whether it's career, family, friends, love, um, whatever else this is, let me know in the comments below. But there's still some kind of um, emotions that uh, are not ready to be expressed yet. Okay, somebody doesn't feel ready to express those emotions. Now, at the bottom of this other deck, you have your intervention, right? Divine intervention. And what this says here, expect a miracle. Divine intervention is pushing the two of you together. It's interesting because you did get the number two. The number two means between you and somebody. This could be somebody brand new, somebody that you don't even know, that the universe is putting you in different situations, circumstances, environments, so that you can meet that person, so that you can meet that situation, you know, that person takes you to that situation. So this could also be some kind of, um, you know, offer. Maybe you want to find the right job. Maybe you're looking for the right uh, career. Maybe you're looking for the right, you know, um, place to live. It could be that the universe is going to take you to where you need to be, okay, in order for you to find that, you know, um, perfect job, place, career, love, situation, friendship, whatever, whoever this is. Divine intervention. Okay. Now let's see also in your challenge position. So in your challenge position, you have your the eight of cups, the five of wands and the strength. So yeah, I feel like it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to um, separate yourself emotionally from a person, place, a thing, situation that has disappointed you. There is some kind of disappointment here. And even though you are planning to walk away or you have already walked away, or maybe you're right now walking away, it's still going to be a little bit difficult for you to disconnect on an emotional level. Yeah, maybe at a physical level, okay, maybe you're like, okay, I'm no longer there in that job, career, connection situation with that person. But emotionally speaking, it might be a little bit difficult for you to let it go. I'm also seeing here that part of your challenge has to do with an internal conflict and or an external conflict, whether it's a conflict here between a group of people, it could be jealousy, gossip, competition, or between you and another person, it could be a little bit difficult for you to resolve this conflict, okay? 
for others of you, you feel like you're not strong enough to have a, a you know, to resolve it. You feel like you're, you don't have it in you. You don't have it in you to fully walk away. You don't have it in you to fully let it go. You're like, oh my God, am I going to be able to be strong enough, right? You feel like you're not strong enough when the universe never, never gives you experiences or situations or obstacles that you cannot overcome. You will always be able to overcome them. Okay. If you're going through them for sure. So it's all about remembering your strength, remembering who you really are and confronting that situation. You know, the fact that you are able to move beyond that. For others of you, there is a, some kind of a, um, a disagreement. Okay. It could be difficult for you to see eye to eye with a particular person where you two are very different in the way that you see the situation, the way that you guys have acted in the situation. Uh, you could have differences in opinion, differences in backgrounds. It could be differences in cultural backgrounds that kind of vibe. But I feel here that somebody here needs to own up to what they did. Okay. Somebody here uh, is not only owning up to uh, how they handle the situation. If this is you, part of the solution has to do with you owning up to the part that you played in it. Because in any kind of disagreement, it takes two to tango. It's not just their fault. It's not just your fault. So in this situation, you have to say, okay, what is it about me that cause this, right? What is it about me? What did I do? What did I not do? What did I say? Didn't say, right? That ended up um, creating this conflict. So when you are honest with yourself about the part that you played and you are, you know, you confront that person in that honest, vulnerable, open manner, that person by default, they are encouraged to also do the same. I feel that by you being honest and vulnerable and say, okay, you know what? Yeah, I messed up. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I did this. Maybe I, you know, this, whatever that, that person will also do the same. And that's where the solution will begin. Okay. Now I'm also seeing here that advice, it says here, somebody is seeking advice, whether you're asking your friends or family members for advice, or this person might be looking for advice, um, through, other people. Sometimes conflict can be um, created and or made worse when people look for advice, okay, around them with people, um, like, for example, if this person has a friend that doesn't like you, okay, or a family member that doesn't agree with the connection or the situation, or if this is a job, career, friend, whatever else this is, sometimes that friend could give that person the wrong advice and therefore creates you know, a mountain out of what could have just been a molehill. Okay. So be aware who you ask for advice, if this is you, and also be aware of who they are around, who is surrounding that person. Is there gossip happening, right? Because somebody here is seeking advice. It says here, I've been asking my friends for advice on how to handle the situation with you. If somebody takes action towards you, or if you take action towards them, okay, uh, getting the wrong advice from the wrong source. And you will know that intuitively if you tap into your intuition, right? Somebody who wants the best for you, somebody who wants the best for them, that is a person who, uh, or somebody neutral to the situation would be the best person to ask advice. Okay. Now let me know in the comments below, is this happening in your career, love, life, finances, friends, whatever else that is. In the recent past here, you also have the Hierophant, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. So in the recent past here, there was a commitment, okay? You were committed um, fully. There was full commitment in a career, job, relationship, friendship, family situation. Commitment is there. Now, I'm seeing here that uh, somebody ended up feeling wounded, you know, somebody here uh, felt very wounded in this situation, in this commitment, like, you know, this person may have gotten hurt. If this was you, you felt like this person had hurt you or you were very, very hurt, very, very hurt. Okay. And somebody started to act very defensively. You know, somebody uh, started to feel like they had to walk on eggshells either around you or you around them because this person was very vulnerable. You know, somebody put up their walls of defensiveness to not get hurt. But by doing that, they were triggering the other person as well right? I'm seeing here that somebody here ended up uh, feeling like, you know what? I'm not sure about this person. I'm not sure about the situation. Is this the right one for me? I'm not sure anymore. 
Okay. So somebody here may have been juggling two people, two situations and, or just cause some kind of indecision within you. Now, daydreaming, you are always on my mind, even when I try to forget you. If this was you, okay, then you tried to forget that person. You tried to move on, but you couldn't. If it was them, they kept reaching out to you. They kept trying to work things out, even though they had not fully changed because they kept, you know, daydreaming about you. They could not forget you. Let me know in the comments below what that is all pertaining to, what that is all about happening in your career, family, love, finances, friends, whatever that is. Currently speaking right now, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the Devil. So right now, there is some kind of um, energy surrounding either money. It could be also uh, some kind of a business, a commitment. Generational wealth is playing a role here. It could be family getting involved, right? That kind of vibe. And I feel that right now, you have... Um, kind of um, grown in such a way where you've become emotionally detached to that situation. Why? Because it's become rather toxic. Yeah, maybe there is a marriage there. Yeah, maybe there is um, a job that you're working at right now that pays you a lot of money and you have stability, you have consistency, right? That kind of vibe. Or in a relationship, you have the stability, the consistency, but there's something very toxic. Somebody here is not um, expressing themselves emotionally. They're, they're um, kind of like not wanting to emotionally uh, excuse me, attach themselves to a connection, to a situation. There could be some kind of a person here right now where um, there is some kind of sensual, sexual energy, but that's all that they want. They just want this sensual, sexual energy when on the other side, somebody else wants something stable, right? So there could be some kind of energy of obsessiveness with the sensual, sexual part of this connection. There could be a tendency to be overly obsessed over that person, having that person, having control over that person. It could be a narcissist. It could be a third party situation and or it could be a person here who is uh, stuck in some kind of addictive behavior addictions, right? It could be money. Um, it could be the fact that this person is all about money. They feel like they can control uh, with their money, whatever that is mirroring. It says here, your, your soul is a mirror of my own. Thank you for treating me with love and respect. So realize that you and this other individual are actually mirrors of each other. A lot of times it triggers people when, uh, you know, you say that, especially given that there's this toxic energy, you're like, oh my God, no, how could, you know, you say that the, I'm, I'm a mirror of them. They're a mirror of me when I'm not toxic. Well, you know, we perceive ourselves differently, right? Uh, but what this is saying is that your soul is a mirror of this person. This person is doing things that might be triggering you um, in order for you to reflect on what is it about you that is bringing that part of them out, right? Why are you attracting this toxic energy from this person? Why are you attracting this emotionally detached energy from this person? Or why are you becoming emotionally detached towards them, right? There's something there where both of you guys are here to marry each other in order for you to grow, to heal, to evolve, to expand. And yes, they are a mirror of you. So instead of pointing the finger at the outside and saying, well, it's this person, it's, you know, because of this, because of that, say, okay, what is it about me? Once again, okay, what is it about me that is bringing that side of this person, you know, um, to communicate with me in that way or to treat me this way or to, you know, want something only superficial with me? What is it about you? Are you afraid? You know, uh, do you feel insecure? Do you feel um, unworthy of having something real, something pure, something more deep? Could be anything. These are just examples. Let me know in the comments below. It could also be happening in some kind of a career situation where you might feel that, you know, people around you or your boss is not, you know, um, really appreciating you. Why? Why? Why is it that your boss isn't appreciating you? Is it because you feel unworthy of having a better job? So therefore, that boss can vibrationally feel that unworthy energy from you and therefore, that's how they treat you? Or in a relationship, could be anything, in a family member, with a friend, whatever this is. Let me know in the comments below. In the near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, and the Temperance. So in the near future, I see here that nothing to worry about because something here is going to start slowing down. If it has already started to slow down for you, 
don't panic. I feel that the universe is trying for you to be more mindful as to how, how you approach this situation, this job, this project, this idea, this career, be, being more mindful about it. That's why this is uh, slowing things down for you. So it's actually a good thing. Don't panic when things start slowing down for you in whatever area of your life because the wheel of fortune is here. Something here that is meant to be yours, this is destiny playing a role. Destiny is playing a role coming into your near future to gift you something that you've been working so hard on, okay? Or so you've been kind of working so hard to get or to get to. I see here that uh, you're going to be blessed. Your blessings will be coming in. In the near future, you're going to get your wishes granted, your wishes fulfilled, but it's going to require patience, okay? And it says here, you are my muse, my inspiration to create you, ignite my soul, cadence. So you are going to be inspiring people around you, either one particular person or people, okay? It could also be that somebody here or something here is going to come in to inspire you. It could be just a rush of energy that all of a sudden you were feeling bored, you were feeling apathetic, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I have this idea. Now I feel inspired to create. I feel inspired to, to do this and to do that and to pursue my dreams and, you know, you know, this could be creative energy coming through in the near future. This could be a musician. You could be a musician. They could be a musician. You could be meeting a musician. Somebody here who perhaps is a singer, songwriter, producer, you know, director, whatever. But there is a, a, a sense of uh, creativity, arts, you know, that kind of vibe, cadence, okay, in the near future. Now, I'm also seeing here in your opportunity, you have here the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Star. So you're definitely going to have a big opportunity uh, to heal from some kind of betrayal. It could be a liar. You know, you're going to find out the truth, and that truth is going to heal you. It's going to set you free. I'm seeing here that also you're going to have an opportunity to finally start healing trust issues. If somebody here has done something to you and you know you uh, you felt betrayed, you felt like you couldn't trust again, you're gonna you're gonna start healing. Okay. I'm also seeing here that um, there's something related to people around you might feel that you acted rather harshly. Uh, about a situation or towards somebody, but you don't need to justify yourself is what this is saying. You know who you are. You know why you did, why you said what you said. And that's all that you need to um, to acknowledge. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't feel sad about it. Don't be fearful about it. You have to be confident in your decisions because I feel here that there's something here that you might be doing that is out of character for you, but it's something that you've been needing to do for quite some time, okay? Don't let other people make you feel guilty about it. Now, sexual tension, <laughs> What is going on here? You literally have two sexual energies, sexual tension and naughty thoughts. There's a lot of sexual tension here, okay? Either you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. It says here, you've been on their mind, all the things they want to do to you, sexual healing. You might need sexual healing, okay? You might just need uh, to heal in that kind of way. You might be very closed off. You might have been very closed off to that. And maybe right now it's saying, okay, it's an opportunity for you to open up. For others of you, you might be saying, you know what? No, this is a liar, you know? And now that you find out the truth, you're going to find out that this person only, what the only thing that they wanted was perhaps you know, sexual healing. And you might be like, nah, I'm not okay with it. Of course, it's up to you. You have free will, right? Now we're going to be going into the extended. And in the extended is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this entire situation is all going to unfold and turn out for you. What will be the final result? And we will end the reading with any guidance messages from spirits. So if you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below, but you can also find the link to the extended in the first comment that I pinned down below as well. And if you do want to check out all of your monthly readings for your sign, your weekly readings, your monthly readings, your mid-monthly readings, your love readings, okay, your blessings readings, you can check out all of those readings. I will link them down in the first comment that is pinned down below. 
And remember, if you do want to support this channel, you can do so by commenting down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, you guys have no idea how much it helps support me and my channel because as you know, the YouTube algorithm has been changing and it has been hiding my videos from the news feed, etc. So if you want to support the channel, if you do enjoy my readings, then comment down below. Let me know how this reading all resonates for you. Again, even if it's just with an emoji. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for your love, for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time. Bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.